in a world of crossovers classic 3 box sedans are on their way out or that's what it seems there hasn't been any real new cars in the entry level sedan market the only new car that i can really think of that has a real makeover has been the honda city but now after selling the rapid in india for almost 10 plus years skoda have finally come out with a new sedan in that segment which is the slavia and well skoda is expecting this car to revive the lost love for classic sedans The Slavia is now longer and wider than the outgoing Rapid. It boasts an impressive class leading wheelbase of 2651 mm which is 1 mm longer than the Sia's. The front now has a more recognizable Skoda family fascia. The grille is now bigger and wider. The Slavia gets new headlights and DRLs integrated inside of them and the bonnet has two streaks that give it that mean look. On the side you can clearly see that the Slavia is super long and more importantly it isn't like the straight cut three box design of the Rapid it is more curvy and swoopy at the rear end the rear now deletes the Skoda logo and has a more minimalistic Skoda badging just like all other models in the range you get 16 inch rims as standard and overall the Slavia looks like a miniaturized version of an Octavia Now off the bat the thing that i like the most about this interior is when you actually open the door first of all the door feels really heavy and the click when you grab the handle and open it it's very nice and when you close the door it has that classic thud that everyone likes to hear and it's definitely a step up from anything in the segment like the Honda City where it feels a little tinny when you close the door When you look into the cabin well it's more or less like the Kushak I mean there are a few differences here and there this section is a little bit different and then you have these bronze strip that uh, run the length of the dashboard and the air vents are also a little bit different on each side but overall the cabin is more or less like the Kushak and I'm not going to complain about that because it looks very very nice and very very premium the steering is also from the Kushak and since this is the automatic you get paddle shifters it's a two spoke rather than being a three spoke this being the style uh, plus variant if i'm not wrong this will have the virtual cockpit in front of me which the kushak does not get the infotainment system is really great very smooth to use the only thing that i have a problem with is that the traction control is actually embedded inside the infotainment system which is kind of a let down because there are buttons right over here to just press on You get ventilated seats in the front and you get this really nice shifter which has a nice click to it when you're selecting your gears. Overall the cabin feels really spacious. You have a sunroof as well to let off some of the claustrophobia and overall I really 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 like this cabin. The steering wheel controls have a really nice finish on them and the whole cabin has this very premium feel as well as some cool little features like the Skoda logo embossed on the cluster cover. The rear seating area is really impressive, so impressive that I would like to compare it to my 2011 Lora's rear seating area which was considered a BMW 3 series rival back in the day. But the sloping roof line does limit the headroom in the rear especially for someone above 6 feet. Now the Slavia comes with two engine options just like the Kushak. So you get a 1 liter TSI and a 1.5 TSI. More or less the gearbox combination and the engine combinations are basically the same. You have the 1 liter TSI with the 6 speed torque converter or a 6 speed manual and then you can choose the variants accordingly. Then you have the 1.5 TSI which is the top end and you can get a manual transmission which is a 6 speed again or you can get a 7 seven speed dsg now the pricing for the skoda slavia compared to its competitors especially for the 1.5 tsi is going to be on the higher side and when i say higher side i'm saying it's more or less going to be around 20 lakh rupees which is quite a lot for a entry level compact sedan but again the skoda slavia doesn't disappoint uh, in the sense that the interior feels very premium the car looks premium in general and the 1.5 tsi has a good amount of grunt more grunt than any other thing in that price bracket The Slavia gets a massive boot that accommodates 521 liters of loading space. But initially when you see the swooping back end, you think this might have a notch back style boot. But unfortunately, it is a conventional boot opening. A missed opportunity I feel from Skoda. Coming to the pricing which was just released today, the Slavia starts at 10.69 lakhs without taxes, which is quite all right for a VAG product. Yes, the Verna and Sia's are 1 and 2 lakhs respectively cheaper than the Slavia, but the base Honda City is more expensive than the Slavia starting at 11.23 lakhs.
The Slavia goes all the way up to 15.39 lakhs for the style 1 liter automatic transmission with the sunroof, which is higher than the Honda City's top variant. Skoda is yet to come out with the pricing for the 1.5 TSI variants, but expect them to start creeping near the 20 lakh rupee mark. Moreover, the Slavia's non-identical twin, the Virtus, is set to launch on 8th of March. It will be more expensive than the Slavia as VWs tend to. So we will have to wait for that matchup. More importantly, when you take into consideration taxes, inflation and all of that stuff, cars are getting expensive in general. So the Slavia technically is not really that expensive if you consider inflation and all of those other things. And more importantly, when you're buying a Škoda or a VW AG product, you know what exactly you're buying into. The safety is up there, the technology is up there and they don't compromise on anything. So the Slavia is definitely a different car altogether when it comes to the Rapid. Not saying that the Rapid was bad, but the Slavia is definitely a step up. And before we sign off, we want to say a thank you to Garvey Skoda. They have always supported our channel and given us the latest Skoda products to film. They have some great offers going on for the Kushak and have the latest and greatest from Skoda in stock. So if you're looking to buy a Skoda product, Garvey Skoda is your go-to Skoda dealer. All the information is down in the description below.